Richard, a, a sad day, um, deciding to, to step down from your role at the Rhinos. How tough a decision was it? Um, yeah, tough. You know, head coach is tough. Um, upsetting, deflating, sad day, but at, at the same time, pretty clear. You know, I'm, I'm pretty clear that I, I just didn't think as a head coach uh, I were having a, a strong enough impact on the team's performances this year. Uh, I don't think that's, that's been the case over the previous three years. I think you know, I've worked through a period uh, of, you know, at times immense difficulty with when I sort of took the job on, the, the situation that the club was in then. Uh, obviously through uh, Covid and, and all the carnage that the end of season fixture list uh, brought in that particular time. Uh, and a, a year last year where you know, we had injury after injury and 17 or 18 different halfback combinations. So it's, it's, it's not been a, a, a smooth ride. It's been, it's been really challenging throughout. But I think um, from where we took it, you know, got ourselves back into the playoff spots, won some silverware along the way. Um, you know, we've, we've blooded an, a number of promising kids. Some of our younger players have turned into internationals and, and some of our really young kids are coming through now. Um, so it, it's been a privilege. Uh, and it's been great fun as well as challenging along the way and, and something that I'll always you know, cherish the relationships that I've built up through it. However, I look at the team this year and think that, you know, I know we're only six rounds in, um, but the team's a reflection on the head coach and at the moment the team is, is, is underperforming and, and I, I look at last year when we were one from six, I still saw, I th I saw plenty in the team. You know, we were getting beat, but uh, with the circumstances we were presented, I, I saw some really good signs um, that you know we'll fight our way and we'll come through this. But at the, at the moment, uh, I think as a head coach, uh, I, I'm just not having a strong enough impact on the team, and and therefore it's my decision that I think uh, it'll benefit the guys to have a, a fresh voice and, and reinvigorate them for for you know there's plenty of the season left, and and I, I still believe in the squad. I still believe that uh, we'll get some key and important players back. And when they all get out there and find the feet and fit and firing, um, you know they've, they've got a, a good, strong season in front of them. However, I feel at this time, you know, for me personally, um, you know, I just weren't getting um, the, the required responses. And, and as I've always said, I think ultimately that responsibility lasts with a head coach. Um, and so, you know, it, it's my decision that I, I think I think the guys need uh, some fresh impetus. You talk about the tough times now. Uh, you'll have some time to reflect over the next coming weeks and months yeah. and things like that. But as you stand here now, you, you must take a, a great deal of pride of what you've achieved with the Rhinos and, and enjoyment along the, along the way from, from that. You've had a lot of coaching jobs, but to, to be Leeds Rhinos head coach, to, to win yeah. a Challenge Cup, to take the team back into the playoffs. Yeah, absolutely. You know, tremendous pride and, and really privilege. As I said, uh, uh, the, the guys that were involved in that cup win, you know, part of one of the greatest days of my life. Uh, and, you know, I've talked about it in the press conference there. You know, it, it's an easy job because it's, it's a superb club. Head coaching's hard, you know, and, and any, any head coach will tell you that. And I think the chat we had earlier, in, it's three years. It doesn't seem like two minutes since I took the job and, it, and it's three years down the track. And in that three years' time, I think only one club has, has not had a change of coach in that period as well. So that tells you the... You know, the, I guess the precarious nature uh, of this occupation. But one thing I've always done is, is sort of try and be honest and true to myself. And I think it, it's for the betterment of the team at this moment in time uh, that I step away. Uh, I'm certainly not angry or bitter. Uh, I'm actually really proud that as a as a young guy uh, that loves the game, that coming through, I've had the opportunity to coach um, what is a, a truly magnificent and you know, giant historical club in the game. Um, but at the same time, I'm also a realist as well. And, and as I say, for the reasons I've outlined earlier, you know, I, ju I just feel a, a change of voice for the guys. It'll be, it'll be really good at this moment in time. Um, so a sad day, yeah, a, a sad day. But at the same time, uh, that's professional sport and that is the, you know, the world that we live in and, and, it, and it's what comes with this occupation. And a, you know, a pretty unique opportunity to, to be able to stand in front of your players this morning and tell them and explain to them your reasons. Coaches sometimes don't get that opportunity w when they leave a club and, and for you to be able to explain that, that must be good. You, you can leave on those terms. You say there's, there's, there's no, no resentment. Just, just honesty. Just, just real honesty. Um, 
you know, when, when the job starts to have an, a negative impact on you, I think, I think you know that it's time. And as I say, I, I, I'm watching a team what, at the moment, uh, you know, he's not playing well and got some confidence issues and anxiety about it, but they'll get that back. You know, they will get that back. And, you know, I just wanted the boys to know that, you know, there's, there's no blame, uh, that there's no anger. Uh, it is purely that, for the reasons that I've outlined, uh, I think they need a new voice, but, you know, get on with it and, and get out there and uh, and get a game won this weekend and, and get in that next round of the cup draw, you know, and, and I am just implore the players to, you, you know, to find that this weekend and, and kickstart the season because I'm, I'm really confident uh, that it is a good group of players and that they can do that. And as I say, I've, I've got fantastic relationships within the squad really really good relationships with those guys and, and they'll be at some point down the track where um, I'm sure I will and I hope and I, I can have a, a beer with most of them because you know I think they're a, you know a really good bunch of people uh, that, that care a lot it's not going well at the moment but they're capable of turning that round. You spoke in your press conference uh, about the fans events you were coming here to, to thank the members who yeah. donated their money back and a chance to speak to them. Yeah, that's right. I'm sure you'd like an opportunity at some point in the future to come back so they could show their thanks and appreciation to you and on behalf of all Leeds fans and thank you for, for what you've done for the club over the last three years and, and how you've you've put the club back back on the right course. You know, I've tried to work hard and tried to do my best. Uh, and and the, the club at the time were in, in, a, in a very, very difficult situation and it, it were uh, it, it were a point at that point where you know probably the only experienced bloke, bloke within the club uh, uh, as it happens I'm, you know I'm stood here three years later um, but yeah on the times where the season ticket holders uh, the club put uh, the functions on for the season ticket holders you know I made a decision I were invited to the uh, to the functions but I went and stood in the changing rooms so I got opportunity to meet and greet you know maybe about 4,000 fans over over quite a number of events um, and they were just great people that loved and, uh, and and cared and supported the club I know it's tough times and, and you know I'm not foolish enough to know that in situations like this uh, the heat generally always comes on the coach, but I'm all right with that too. Uh, but I just want the fans to, you know, really get behind the boys during this time and, and give them a lift this week uh, and help galvanise them through these tough periods. Clubs always go through tough periods. Um, the club has been through much, much tougher periods than this. And as I say, it's not like uh, I don't believe the roster needs, you know, chopping and changing. It just needs to find its feet a little bit and, uh, and you know, and their luck will change. But yeah, you know, on the whole, uh, in the, the tough times are, are tough at times, but the fans have been great. And, uh, you know, as an opposing coach coming here, you're almost envious sometimes of of what the supporters and the, and the South Stand do for the players. Uh, they're appreciative of that and again I'd just implore them to, to get behind them over the coming weeks and, and help get them back on track.